student, graduating student is Anusha Ramasamy. Um, Anusha is a, this is a very uh, interesting uh, girl uh, because uh, she's not graduating from high school today. She is in her uh, seventh grade in the Kramari Middle School. Um, Anusha learned the Indian classical dance called Bharatanatyam. Uh, usually when you learn Bharatanatyam, like after several years, like maybe 10, 12 years, you will graduate from the school, Bharatanatyam school, and you give a performance. Um, actually, that, that takes, like usually the kids who are 17 or 18 years old, they are going to do that. Whereas Anusha did that when she was so young and something like 11 or 12 years old. Um, and so, uh, we are honoring her uh, to celebrate her graduation from the dance school. Um, Anusha is the daughter of Aparna and Kati. Um, hi. Uh, I had my own gate drum on September 1st of 2007, and it took a lot of practice every single day of my summer break. I had to wake up at 7 in the morning, and I had a four-hour dance class, so it was long. <laughs> but um, I want to thank my parents for all the support and encouragement. And Narendra Sharma, but also known as Narin to his friends. He has been um, with AIE since 1997. He served as AIE treasurer in 1998, as president in 1999, and sorry, president elect in 1999, and then the president as 2000, and he was the past president for 2001. He has been helping AIA since year 2000 and uh, helped us in many ways to build a con community consensus. To, and he was the first one to introduce the AIA's flagship event, namely the Diwali Day, where I've seen the crowds as big as 500. It's quite a size, but it's a massive event for AIA. And I think there is a lot of credit goes for he was one of the pioneers to get that recognized doing many of where he works in the newspaper advertisement campaign, namely ex exceptional people who are important to me. He was also on several Hewlett Packard uh, World Conferences where he hosted and also uh, was his main speaker on various occasions. Despite his such a distinguished achievements, I find Narin one of the most unassuming, humble, and with a great sense of humor. He, any time, he's always ready to help AIA and other community members. So it's my great honor to recognize Narendra Sharma with a lifetime award, and I would ask our chief guest to hand for the certificate to him. Our volunteer auditor and I was the treasurer for uh, AIA during 2004 and 2005. He helped AIA in setting up very sound accounting and control systems. During 2004 and 2005, Sushil also developed and managed AIS website. After a short break, early this year, he joined again and took charge of managing and updating our AI website. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to know me, go to my AI website and you will know me, what I am doing, what is there, and what I need. Your support also, because it is not the IA website, it is your website, and uh, we need your support, we need your help, uh, you need your suggestions and comments to improve the website. I have another nomination today. She has come to the United States during the day's time, and ever since she's been to the United States, she's been involved with the Indian community, and then she's been a part of the AIA helping AIA members and helping the board manage all the programs. Um, 
She also made generous makes generous contributions not only to AIA but also its sister committee, the AIA CC. Um, she is a professor emeritus in the Division of College of Letters and Science at the University of Wisconsin at Madison. Her professional accomplishments include five novels and six volumes of short stories, and she has guided numerous PhD students during her very illustrious career. Some of her works have been translated into other languages, and her latest short novel is being translated into English. I am very, very honored and very, very pleased to introduce Professor Usha Nilsson and to present to her a lifetime achievement award to the And my major uh, opportunity was had nothing to do with me because I got all the benefits of post-independent India. When I was growing up, India became free, and the women got a lot of opportunity. And I took uh, advantage of the, that opportunity when I got Fulbright, Smith Moon Fulbright Scholarship to come to America in early 60s. And uh, I didn't realize what it involved. Maybe the fish know where they are going, but I didn't know where I was going and what I was getting into. But it has been a wonderful experience, and uh, I'm surprised that Anu found out so many things about me. One thing is that <coughs> even though I live in America and I speak in English, but all my writing is in Hindi, which is my uh, native language, my own language. Because when I write, I write for my Indian audience, which are, and uh, most of them are uh, urban educated women. And most of my writing is concerned with women as the center. And since I came to America, I write about immigrant experience. And mostly, these women, uh, they live a script that is given to us, especially those of us who were born in India and grew up in India, that this is how you should be. And so they, when they come to America, either on their own or as, as a wife or in some other capacity, they, are, they live an unexamined life. They are told what to do, whether husband or in-laws or parents, and they do that. But in the course of the novel or in the course of life, they sort of wake up to the opportunities and towards the end of the book, almost always, they emerge completely changed and very empowered. And I'm very proud of doing that. And because this is what I have seen. Uh, women coming, whether they are educated or not educated, and they all struggle and they always come out empowered. So, uh, sorry I talked so much, but thank you again, all of you, and to Anu. Um.